heartbreaking story here. Monique King was actually inside her truck um, talking to her brother at a place that they'd gathered for years. Sources familiar with this case tell us that there may have been an argument that possibly preceded this shooting, but King's relatives who were right there tell us there was no confrontation and that King had just arrived to the area. There is an outcry for our community. This is unacceptable. We need you guys to speak up. For the ones who are responsible, man, y'all don't know what y'all took. 58-year-old Monique King, a mother, grandmother, sister, woman of faith, and an alto singer at First Corinthian MB Church. We want to get this person off the street. She should not have died like she did. She died like a dog. For years, the parking lot here at Sir Mac and Pulaski has been a popular meeting place for residents that grew up near 19th and Karloff, a bond going back 40 years. And most of these people are 40 to 50 years old that used to be around here before things changed. But this was a crime scene. August 31st, overnight, 29 shell casings left behind. King was inside her truck talking to her brother, who was inside his own vehicle. The brother says he must stick gunshots for fireworks before his sister died in his arms. We sat out there on that lot for over seven, eight years. Police say the 58-year-old was shot in the neck. Witnesses say the shooters came from the nearby train tracks. Friends and family gathering today, remembering King, also calling for accountability. We should be outraged. Unfortunately, in this time, we have become so desensitized to the pain. Her mother, heartbroken. And I'm asking whoever did this to my jewel, please turn yourself in. I guarantee you no one has nothing bad to say about my sister. And Pastor Ira Ackery, along with other um, ministers that are associated with the Leaders Network, are offering a $5,000 cash reward for any information that leads to an arrest and conviction. In this case, Chicago police telling us no suspects are in custody. King's funeral is scheduled for this coming weekend. This is the latest here on the city's southwest side, Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.